Some says it's the engine, some says it's the wings that makes the aircraft fly. And there are tons of other videos out there on YouTube on the exact same topic. And how am I going to do better? Well, I'm an aeronautical engineer and I'm going to make sure by the end of this video, you will know how to explain to anyone in this world on the topic how the aircraft actually operates. So let's start with the basics, the four forces of flight. When the aircraft moves forward, that's by the use of thrust and the resistance for this forward motion is given by the drag and this heavy metal weighs a lot which acts downwards which is the weight and the star of the show which actually makes this fly impossible is the lift. So let's start with thrust. Thrust provide the forward motion to the aircraft. Well, this is done by the engines. The simple physics behind this is the Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Well, what's the reaction? The engines sucks the air in, compresses it, combusts it and send it through high speed from the exhaust. And this is the reaction force that drives the aircraft forward. Now the second one is drag. Imagine yourself in a heavily crowded area. You are trying to move forward but the sheer amount of people actually resist your forward motion. The exact same principle happens to the aircraft but with air molecules. The air molecules try to resist the motion of the aircraft. Why? Because the air molecules will start rubbing itself against the aircraft skin. That actually causes an air resistance. So this is what we call the drag. So number three is weight. Now weight equals mass into gravity. Now mass is measured in kilograms or grams. Now gravity is the gravitational force that brings anything downwards, anything above the ground level. This force will act on it and this force will try to bring it down. Now the same force will act on the aircraft. What is gravitational force? Gravitational force is 9.81 meters per square second. So why you do this calculation you ask me? Well, all the forces are measured in Newtons. So in order to make sure that our mass is represented in Newtons, we have to make it a force. And how do we make it a force? Well, by the use of equation W equals mg. So just a quick request, I'm a full-time engineer who does these YouTube videos in my spare time and a lot of time are allocated for these videos and the editing process as well. So I appreciate if you have learned something so far to press that subscribe button and I'm going to make you a promise, I'm going to make sure every other video that I'm going to upload from now are going to be more informative and in a way that everybody can understand. So if you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. So the fourth force is the lift. Well, I'm going to come closer to you because I want you to clearly understand this. Well, if there's anything to take out of this video, this would be it. How do we generate lift? Well, I'm going to take an aerofoil shape to explain this better. Well, this is what an aerofoil looks like. So this is simply a cut cross section from the wing. Well, not this one, this is a piece of wood, but this shape what we call aerofoil is the cross section of the wing. So long ago, there was this person named Bernoulli who actually mentioned Static pressure plus dynamic pressure is a constant. I know, I know, you must be wondering, come on, you know, we just came here to know how this structure creates that lift you told us. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I'm gonna explain to you. I'm not gonna use Bernoulli in this case. I'll explain in simplest terms. So, when the aerofoil moves forward, there'll be air moving towards the aerofoil. Now the air that moves below the aerofoil will have a lower velocity compared to the upper surface of this aerofoil. And the lower velocity will have higher pressure below the surface of the aerofoil. Now above the aerofoil will have lower pressure. Now this pressure difference where the below pressure is higher than the above pressure, this pressure will create the aerofoil towards the sky. So that's basically how the lift is created. But you must be wondering, wait, you know, you just said pressure increases, velocity decreases, velocity decreases, pressure increases, but we don't understand how does this happen. Well, this happens like this. Just imagine yourself again in that crowded area. You're trying to move forward and the amount of people will resist you to move forward so your velocity decreases now what does increase the dragging the pushing 
that is the pressure that is created in that environment. So that pressure increases. But we take the same environment, there's just you. You're moving fast and there's less confusion or less forces acting on you so your pressure is reduced if you need a bit of maths there's this equation called equation of continuity which says when something moves from a smaller area to a bigger area because of the downsize of the area the velocity increases when you take the aerofoil it's the exact same thing the layers above the aerofoil on the top squeezes the space of the aerofoil. This actually creates a small area. This pinching point speeds up the air above the aerofoil than below. So this actually creates a lower pressure when the velocity increases and down here there will be normal velocity flowing. So it will be a lesser velocity compared to the top. That's actually how the pressure difference is created. So this is how the aircraft actually flies. And the answer to the previous question is, yes, it's the wings that creates lift, not the engines. Engines just move the aircraft forward. I hope this video was helpful. And if you still have questions that need answers, put them down in the comment section. I'll look at them and I'll try to answer them. So if you're that person who doesn't want to stop learning, click on the video above which explains how the engine works. And if you want to know how the aircraft moves and maneuvers itself, click on the link below which explains how the aircraft does this thing. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and if you have already subscribed. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week with another video.